In the previous episode we started the transom project. In this episode we will continue the project and finally get the reward of a shiny transom. Here we can see the result of our uh, reparations of the transom. And um, today we have the hard work to um, paint it with top coat. And um, I think the most tricky thing is you need to stand it not somewhere <laughs> and you can't paint where you will stand of course so um, a little bit tricky even this but uh, I think it will work out great what are you doing? <laughs> it's some um, masking masking time gel coats time <laughs> gel coat paint <laughs> yes gel coating yes. it's always a little bit it's scary tricky. when you will paint if everything really works out great and looks good. And we know that this will look super shitty. At the beginning. At the beginning. But not. after a lot of sanding it will be good. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of work but it's worth every minute of it when you are ready. Yeah. It's true. We know it. We have done it before. So. Yeah. Our biggest problem now is time. The boat goes into the water on Wednesday and when we paint it it's Saturday. It must be ready before we splash it. We can sand and polish the transom when the boat is in the water. Next moment with this area is to sand everything and after that it will be time for wet sanding. Sanding, sanding, sanding. Yeah. But it will be okay when we're finished. Yeah, I hope so. It's a hard work. Yep. But I think it will be good. Work on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> work on. So now it's time to do uh, the hatch for the dinghy garage. Uh, I have sanded everything and uh, now look for if we have any cracks on it. And uh, one there and a small one there. Here we have a big one. I think this hatch looks much better than we thought from the beginning. It's not so much preparing work before we paint it. Now the spider cracks are filled with firing compound. Next step is to put gel coat on it, on it. So soon even this part is ready. Go back to the boat. Now it's the first layer on the last layer. Now just wait and uh, let it harden and then sanding again. First usual sanding and then wet sanding. The same work as we do on the transom.
After many hours with the sanding and polishing machine, it's time to reassemble the door to the dinghy garage and the bathing leather. We secure the hatch with a rope so we can fish it up if we drop it when carry it over to the boat. We mounted the hatch with new hinges and new screws. The bathing ladder also got in place. Now it's time for the anti-slip paint. Lots of masking tape. We cut a small radius in the corners with a knife. After all the masking we have a plan to paint the entire area in one step. Grey Kiwi Grip is our mission to roll so it looks smooth and still be anti-slip. This is our first time using this product and we think it was a success. Easy to apply it and to roll a pattern in it. When you peel off the masking tape, you start to see the results of the work. It's a really dirty and messy job. Gloves are a must for this work. And B2 is really good. Then it's time for the bathing platform's lowest step. This might be an odd order to start with the top step, but we didn't want to be on our knees with our heads down for a couple of hours.
Now comes the tricky part. You need to concentrate and have a good balance. We've shown you before, but this is our favorite part of the boat. I can say it thousand and thousand times because it's really true. This is a perfect spot. Yeah. To take a coffee or Beer. or oh. bath and. Uh, Fish. Barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. You're slowing. You're slowing us down. <laughs> this is also a good, good thing with a transom close to the water, even when you sail. It's super hot today. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe so we meet you in the next episode when our sailing in the Baltic Sea continue. Bye!